folks, in today's film I'm going to be making a chicken dinner in a slow cooker. So the main ingredients today are of course a chicken, but alongside that sweet potatoes, carrots and onions, and there will be herbs, spices, salts, peppers, all sorts of other bits and bobs going in there. It's basically going to be dead tasty. Let's crack on. I'm going to begin by chopping up the largest of the three onions that I had. So I want this to be in fairly small pieces. Don't have to be too small, but not too big pieces. Chop. I'm then just going to get these onion bits and put them in my slow cooker and just evenly distribute them along the bottom. Now I'm going to add three carrots. So I'm going to take the top and the bottom off each carrot. And then with each carrot I'm going to cut it down the middle so I end up with two long halves like that. Et voila! I'm then going to place my carrots on top of the onion, make a layer of carrot. Now I've got half a tin of chopped tomatoes that are open so I'm just going to pour them on top because what I'm going to get in the bottom of this will be a nice gravy so these will just add to that. I'm going to add a squirt of garlic puree. You could just use normal garlic if you wanted to, but this is the easy option. Gosh, you can smell that. I'm going to add a generous amount of mixed herbs. These are dried Italian mixed herbs. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. I'm then going to add some salt, some pepper, I'm just using black pepper and an ingredient which may surprise some of you but I'm actually going to put some sugar in. Now believe you me, sugar works really well when you're cooking with vegetables and spices and herbs and things like that. It really really brings the flavours out and when you've got tomato in there also it massively enhances the flavour. Now it's time to sort out my chicken. So I'm just going to unpackage and this chicken weighs 1.426 kilos. I'm just going to give it a wash under the tap. Right now the chicken goes on top inside the slow cooker and you can see it fits just nicely. Now I need to keep everything as much as I can below this level because this is where the lid will sit. Now the lid domes so there will be a bit more space but I want the lid to seal tightly. Last but not least, I'm going to take three of the sweet potatoes. I'm also going to give these a wash. So I'm going to take the ends off these and then half each one of them. And I'm going to half these this way so I get little fat pieces rather than long thin pieces like I did with the carrot. I'm leaving the skin on incidentally because I don't mind the skin, I quite like it. It's not to everybody's taste. And then I've got to try and place these around the chicken in a way that won't interfere with the lid closing on this. So that's my sweet potato all in there. I'm going to add half a pint or 234 ml of water. So you need water in the bottom because it will help to build up some steam inside there and it will prevent things from sticking to the bottom as well also. I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of the chicken. And then finally on top I'm going to add some smoked paprika because I really like paprika. And I think it goes well with this kind of dish. It also adds a little bit of colour because what you've got to bear in mind is I'm not roasting the chicken so it's not going to go brown like it would if it was in an oven. There are ways around that though, and if it comes out and it looks a little bit too white, I might pop it under the grill for 10 minutes. Let's see. So then it's power on, lid on, 
note that that sits nice and snug and I'm going to put this on high for the first hour only. So I'll be back in an hour. See you then. Right, an hour has passed. Let's have a look at that bird. And there it is. And that is looking nice. You can see the heat has built up. You can see the uh, condensation on the inside of the lid there. So what I'm going to do now is it's on high for the first hour. I'm now turning it down to low. And this is now going to stay on low for about six hours. I'm doing nothing to it. I never remove the lid. You always leave the lid on. Do not take it off because you let the heat out. And that's it. It's the easiest recipe ever. Just a four hour later update. I just want to show you all the juice now. So that is the juice that's come out of the meat and the veg combined with that water that I put in there. And this is basically now stewing. It smells wonderful as well. Okay, six hours is up. Let's have a look at that. Look at those juices bubbling. This bird is officially cooked. Right. A lucky off. I'm going to give it 10 minutes and then we'll open it up. Right, it's time to get the chicken out of the slow cooker and I'm going to put it into this pan. So first off, the lid comes off and you will see there's a bit of steam come out there. Here's the bird. And because I put the paprika on the skin, I don't feel like I need to put this under the grill actually just to give it a brownness because it Aesthetically, that looks quite good actually. So using the oven gloves, because it's very hot, I'm removing the bowl from the slow cooker, or the tin, putting it here, right up to my oven tray. And then using a large slotted spoon and a smaller slotted spoon, I'm going to lift the chicken out and put it into the tray. It could be easier said than done. The chicken wants to fall apart because it is so tender now. But what I'm trying to do is separate this from the vegetables and the juice. Okay, in that goes. And now I want to remove the sweet potatoes and I want to remove the carrots. So I'm going to put them all in this tray. And all I want to leave in the tray is the smaller pieces of vegetables like the chopped onion and the uh, tin tomatoes that were in there. So after the separation, I've got my chicken, I've got my sweet potato and my carrots. And now I've got all this lovely liquid with the onions in here and all that flavour. And this is going to become my gravy. So I'm going to gently pour the contents of the slow cooker pan into this frying pan. Trying not to spill but it, it's easier said than done. There's a lot of sauce here. So I'm going to end up making more gravy than what I want for now but it will come in for other things. So I'm going to put the gas on. And I'm going to let that come to a simmer. So as this begins to come to a simmer, I'm going to add a tiny amount of plain flour so it floats on top. And then I'm going to begin to blend it by very slowly and steadily, moving the wooden spatula around. And I'm going to repeat this several times until I start to feel this begin to thicken and bond. I want a tomatoey, lemony, oniony, Mediterranean style gravy. Let's have a look at the chicken. So I'm just going to cut along the top and it's so soft, it's unbelievable. Let's have a look at that. So steamy, it's just all falling apart. Look at that meat there, that is just so white and beautiful. It is literally falling apart on the knife. So tender. You know I have to, don't you? 
even off a big knife. Oh my word, that is sensational. It's some of the nicest and most flavoursome chicken that I've ever had. Honestly, get yourself a slow cooker, get a chicken in there. Right, I've got to plate this up and make a dinner out of this. Right, let's get the rest of that breast off. Look at that, it's just separated from the bone, absolutely lovely. I've literally just got the meat, the bone's just falling off it. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick it apart a bit, and the fox is going to be happy with some of the remnants, but that has come apart so easily, it's unbelievable. Look at that, chicken, not chicken. Well, still chicken, but not the stuff you want to eat. Let's get a bit of carrot. And some sweet potato. I think that needs a bit of gravy. And I'd say that that is ready. So let the gravy make the chicken dinner. Look at that. And this was the easiest recipe ever to make. And my golly, that is going to be tasty. So before I go and sit down and enjoy this, I know you're dying to see my reaction. So yeah, I can't wait actually. Try a bit of carrot. So sweet. Mmm. Delicious. And the tomato in the gravy and the sweetness from the sugar really helps improve the flavour. bit of sweet potato, lovely skin and it wasn't too difficult to get through with a fork either and that's because it's been cooked in a slow cooker, it's really tender now. Oh my word, it's just like mashed potato heaven, it's so nice, I mean that was literally like eating mashed potato but sweet mashed potato and finally chicken with gravy on. Ace of spades. Stunning. It's got a genuine Mediterranean feel to it, combined with a traditional sort of English chicken dinner, British chicken dinner, American chicken dinner, chicken dinner, winner winner, whatever it is. It's like the best Sunday dinner meets the best Mediterranean Sunday dinner. I'm happy with this. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because I just want to eat this now. So I hope you've enjoyed the film and I'll catch you on the next film, whatever that may be. Cooking, brewing, whatever. Cheers, folks. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Home and Garden production. You can find more by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. I'd just like to say thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel and for watching my films. It really is very much appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to receive future updates about the home and garden films which I upload. You can find my YouTube channel by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. Please click on the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you press that also, then you'll get future updates about the films which I upload. If you like my films, if you like my style of filming, then you might also like my travel channel, which you will find by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss or typing www.mosstravel.tv. Again, if you could subscribe to that channel, it would be hugely appreciated. If you'd like to get Moss Home and Garden updates on Facebook, then please open Facebook and do a search for Moss Home and Garden and you will find the page. If you like the page, then you will get future updates on there. And if you'd like to connect on Instagram for home, garden and travel photography, as well as some stories, then my username is Stu Moss, S-T-U-M-O-S-S. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, then my username is at Stuart Moss. And if you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on stewmosshomegarden at gmail.com. 
once again thank you very much for supporting my channel for watching my films i do appreciate it i'd just like you all to have a great day